Just spent 45 minutes with the dog around the Idle Valley Nature Reserve. Picked up some beautiful time lapse. We'll see how they turn out. So now into work, and I think what I'm going to do is put the drainage system on the glass washer first, and then get back into the unit and finish up with the dust extraction. Well, I decided to complete the blast gates. So, this, folks, is what they look like. So as you can see, open, closed, open, closed, handles either side, very little play in between, but it still slides quite smoothly. Just pop some handles on either end, and it's pretty obvious when it's on, when it's off. You could colour it in with a paint or something, but I really am pleased with those, and I've made Six, five, yeah, five. One of them's up there. Have I made six? No, five. I've got one more to make. And as you can see, they're all identical. So I batched these out quite quickly. I am really chuffed with them, like. Right, we'll take these fittings up to the pub and see if we can't get them installed. Now this really is one of the most difficult jobs in the pub, playing with this glass washer, because we just don't have the space. It's just everything's so freaking tight in here. So, I can't see me filming much of it, folks. Because it really does. begin to piss me off so you can see that we're getting in I'm gonna leave it here and uh, we'll come back when we've when we've finished we've got the kids they're just getting upstairs to put the computer and the television on so I started work maybe two hours maybe two hours ago <laughs> Installing the pipe work on the glass washer uh, and then when I push the glass washer back in uh, Rhea who's got a company in the basement below us comes upstairs and said there's a leak so I thought oh no I've pulled the waste pipe out of the back of the connector under the floorboards so I proceeded to pull the floorboards up to find out that it was bone dry and it was the actual washing machine connector at the back of the glass washer that had come loose and was spraying water leaking straight through down to her. So in blind panic of getting the job done, knowing full well that Stuart was opening the pub at four o'clock, I had no choice but to concentrate on getting that done. So there ain't much vlog material today. But I will do my best to give you at least a snippet of what's left of the day. There was one interesting development though. I sent out that blanket email to all of the fabricators to see who'd come back with a decent quote for me for the stainless steel tanks. Well, for one of those tanks, which is about 615 litres, they're about 1,200 tall, 795 mil diameter, we're looking at about £635 plus VAT. So it works out, can you hear the dog? I've just turned the Wi-Fi off so that should get rid of that crackling. So it works out at about a pound per litre for the tanks. So I called a company called Tanks and Vessels which are based in Rosington, Doncaster and I'm going across there tomorrow morning. I don't know if Stu's coming with me or not. We're going to see if we can pick up some tanks at a bargain price. Now these are already fabricated so it means that they're going to require retrofitting but who knows, who knows what they'll have in the yard when we go. Hi Abs. Hi. 
um, the TV is not working because we're pressing the on button but it's still not working. I'll come and fix it for you then, yeah? I don't know if you noticed once or twice in the videos the past couple of days there's been a crackling when I've been in here. It's the Wi-Fi box, the Talk Talk router, making all this racket. So I'm going to put it upstairs in, in, the, uh, in the office room and then at least there's a wall between because it seems to work if there's a wall or something between you and the box. So I spent all this time putting this cable up. And now I've got to pull it back through. It's just as well though, because it was a little bit short. So, every cloud and all that. Right, that's the Wi-Fi routed back up there. You can see it goes through that hole. I really need to tidy up this bird's nest. But we'll wait until we uh, have a warmer, warmer day in the summer. And I'll turn everything off. We'll turn this whole circuit board off, drag it all out and put it all back in. Right, I couldn't help myself, I had to make them a couple more of those bobbins, they were talking about them yesterday, they really enjoyed colouring them, colouring them in and playing with them, so I made some proper ones out of solid pine. I was going to give them some more plywood ones, but I thought the pine ones probably be a little bit more durable. They look better anyway, solid timber isn't it? Right, I have to call it a day here, Gemma's upstairs, she's not feeling very well, she's had a really long day at work to be honest. So I've got to take everybody home and uh, edit the vlog. Shall we have a quick peek before we go? Get ready for the assault of noise. Let's go home then folks. See you tomorrow.